don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Advertise with Sahara Football. Call us now. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning here. I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you some interesting news I have for you. We all know over the weekend, unfortunately, Kumasi Asante got to go could not progress to the CAF Confederations Cup. But that's not my main, that's not what this video is about. I'm going to bring you some news on Mike Lesian. Michael Lesian has joined a new club at the age of 36. He has signed for an Azerbaijan club. I'll tell you more details about that in today's story and we're going to hear from Kotoko player Kwame Conte. Kwame Conte says the ex-convict tag is something he does not really appreciate. I'll give you more details on that as well. I'm also going to talk to you about Didi Dramani has been officially been given the position of the assistant Black Stars coach with Ibrahim Tauko at the helm as well and we see Abia in charge so I'll bring you more than that and how we can win AFCON 2019 the key element we need to win AFCON 2019 as usual I'm your host Selassie Fiawe if you are not subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to get more updates amazing updates from this channel so we all know Mike Lysian is a legendary player great great player in his heyday with Leon and Chelsea he has also played with other clubs before he has played in Indonesia as well before and Michael Lysian has moved on to a new chapter in his career many thought he had retired I for one thought he had retired but no not Michael Lysian he is now with an Azerbaijan club at the age of 36 yes he recently signed for them and will join them after the international break and continue with them to the end of the season then start a new season with them when the new trans M season begins in August. So let me read the story to you. And the story says Ghana midfielder Mike Lesian has signed a long term deal with Cybel FC in Azerbaijan. Essien, who left Indonesia's side Perse Bandung last year, has signed a 15 month deal with the club until May 2020. Now, the former Chelsea and AC Milan star has taken up the opportunity to play for the European team and to join the club's under-19 coaching staff to acquire coaching experience as part of his journey to taking up a career in the dugout. You can see ACN here signing his contract. Now, 36, ACN 36 will join his teammates after the international break and play till the end of the season, then restart next season. He will also assist the under-19 coaching team for his experience as part of the completing his UEFA B qualification, a continuation of the coaching work he has been doing with Chelsea under 16. So this is Michael Essien in your shot right now signing his contract with the club. Apparently he will be a coaching, he will be um, completing his coaching badges there as well as playing some football. He'll be working with the under 19 side of the Azerbaijan team and this is quite great. I'm really happy Michael Essien is entering into the coaching career I'm, I'm, I'm happy when former players succeed as coaches it doesn't spoil the narrative some feel because you're a player maybe you shouldn't go into coaching but i feel maybe that is the natural path and acn is on that way he's uh, trying to earn his uefa b license to be a coach in the future and it's quite great it's quite great let me know your thoughts about this in the comments box what do you think about michael acn's move and his coaching career that he's on the path of coaching career that he has started right now let me know your thoughts in the comments box and let me know what you think about it in the comments box as well i'll move on to my next story on okumasi asante kotoko midfield lynchpin kwame Conti. he was integral in kotoko's campaign in the calf confederations cup which has unfortunately come to an end and it's quite sad it has come to an end now kwame Conte, who of Kumasi Asante Kotoko has expressed his displeasure with the use of the ex-convict tag when most journalists are talking about him. He, he doesn't, he's not demanding them to stop, but he feels that that tag is not appropriate right now since he has moved on from that chapter in his life and he feels we should also move on. So let me read the story to you. Now the story says, Kotoko midfielder Kwame Bonsu is unhappy with his continuous description as an ex-convict. A session of Ghanaian football fans, to much extent, the media tag the former MJAF star, AIF star, as an ex-convict after the player served a year behind bars in Sweden for an alleged rape incident. 
Wonsu was has com who completed his sentence last year came back stronger to relaunch his career by signing for Kotoko. A 24-year-old ever since joining the Porcupine Warriors has been one of the favorites helping them in the CAF Confederations Cup campaign. The player has lamented on the situation he finds himself. This is what he said, I've actually moved on to be honest. Sometimes reading those kind of headlines makes me feel some kind of hatred for my ex or the country, Sweden. I came from, he told Silver FM. But I, but I can't change how people think, what people want to write. Sometimes they want to get the attention of their readers, but I don't think this should be the situation. At least I am Ghanaian. We should protect our own. It's not about pleading, it's about time we need to grow. I'm not saying this for people to feel pity for me, no. I have psyched myself and I know that, I know what to achieve in life. People can, people can write, say what they want and how they want based on what they think or know. But at the end of the day, it's their problem, not mine. I just focus on the positive things. Coach Tiki Akono named the former Zelkis IM Gelfi IF midfielder in his squad to face Zesco, which they lost on Sunday 2 1. Kumasi Asante Kotoko were knocked out of the CAF Confederations Cup on Sunday, and they are heading back home right now from Benin. And they'll begin their journey and come back home. And management is thanking all of us for their support. We are grateful to Kumasi Asante Kotoko for bringing us some semblance of football in this country, if not. It would have been as dull as ever. Thank you, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, but let's hope we can do better in the African competitions next time. It's it's really unfortunate for Kota, Kotoko out. They could have easily made it to the quarterfinal after taking the lead in the second half of the game. They should have been better defensively, but that is all spilled. Well, we are out and we can't do anything about it now. So that was Kwame Conti there saying that the ex convict tag that people have been using, he doesn't really enjoy it he doesn't really like it so he will plead with them if they can take that out and protect their own and i agree 100 percent with him he is that is way behind him the ex convict tag is way behind him he has moved on from that let's respect that guys let's respect that now as i told you in a former story that i brought to this channel i told you that Didi Dramani had been promoted to the assistant Black Stars coaching position and Maxwell Konedu had been removed from that position and made to focus more on the locally based players. It has been officially made, the thing has been official. Didi Dra um, Maxwell Konedu at some point was saying he wasn't aware of this but now he has been officially informed and Didi Dramani is set to take his post. The story says assistant coach of Danish side Norgeland Masud Didi Dramani is set to be appointed as one of the assistant coaches of the Black Stars in the coming hours. Following the sacking of Maxwell Konedu, the former deputy technical director of the Ghana FA has, con has been contacted to beef up the Black Stars backroom staff ahead of 2019 African Cup of Nations tournament to be held in June. Dramani will join Tan Ibrahim Tanko on the bench of the team at the tournament in Egypt. The change comes as a major shock for Konedu, who has who was angling the opportunity to work at the tournament in Egypt as the Black Stars seek to end their trophy drought. Last week, the decision of Konedu on the verge. Last week, when announced the decision of Konedu on the verge of being removed, was assured by the authorities that he will stay. He will stay in his position only to be hit with the news a week later. Now, the former under-17 Kodidi Dramani took over the Maxwell Konedu at Kotoko in 2012 after GFA appointed Konedu as Black Stars assistant gaffer. Now Black Stars have qualified for the eighth time since 2006 and will face Kenya in their last qualified game in March this weekend Saturday to decide who tops if Ghana have not won the Arcon since 1982 and managed to feature in two finals in the last decade. So Didi Dramani official, he's the, one of the assistant coaches to see up here in the Black Star squad. So it's official now, Didi Dramani is assistant coach of the Black Stars as well. Let me know your thoughts. What, what expertise do you think Didi Dramani will bring on board? If you know him, if you, are, you understand his how he thinks as a coach, his style of play, let me know what you think in the comments box. I would like to know what you think about this news from Didi Dramani and my final story for today will be about the Black Stars and what we 
can do to win. Sheila Elias has said unity will be key and I, I can't I couldn't have agreed anymore with Sheila Elias. Unity will be integral in us winning the AFCON 2019. So the story says former Ghana defender Sheila Elias believes unity will be vital for the Black Stars to end their 37-year AFCON title drought. The four-time champions are seeking to end their 37-year wait for a continental success. Having won the title last in 1982, Kwesi Apia's side have come close to ending the drought at the last six tournaments, having reached the semi-finals and even going on as far as the final in 2010 and 2015. According to the former Celtic Otoko defender, the team have what it takes to clinch the cup in Egypt in June. But only if they encounter the tournament as a united front. This is what he said. Everybody is saying that Ghana is going to win the AFCON, but it's not going to be easy. Though we have players, togetherness, that is our problem. Even the coach is having problems with them, Ilyasu stated. Unity is very difficult for them. If you want to win a cup, you must be unified. You must be united. I know the players, all of them are always playing away and there is much fitness and everything, but the unity is very important. Ghana secured qualification, win against the Harambee Stars in the final match of the qualifiers will ensure they finish the campaign top of the group and that will be this Saturday 23rd March at the Accra Sports Stadium. If you are in and around Ghana, Accra, you can join us there at the Accra Sports Stadium as we get revenge on Kenya for that defeat in their home. That has been it for today guys. I'll be bringing you news on Kwame Bonsu who feels the tag on him as an ex-convict is not appropriate. It must be removed. Michael Lessian, 36 years, still signing for teams. In latest is Azerbaijan team. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. An appointment of Didi Dramani and what Sheila Eliasu said. Unity will take us further than any other element. What do you think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Yeah.